about why mobile processors are a great choice for a Nook device, there are three reasons. One, Nook is all about form factor. We want smaller form factor, we want them to be cool and quiet. And mobile processors are designed to fit into small form factors with their BGA small package, but also thermal solutions and uh, are designed to be cool and quiet and optimized for it. Mobile processors are packed with features like bigger integrated graphics and bigger AI processing power, which could be a great thing for a Nook-like device where you do not have space for a discrete graphics cards. This can enable use cases in with that small form factor by having those higher feature sets. More importantly, the more modern mobile CPUs come packed with optionality where if there was power, what we call the PL2 values will allow the mobile processors to burst and give performance where possible. That means a lot of the modern workloads, like whether it's crunching an Excel file or even editing a video where you will need that burst performance, more modern mobile processors are more than capable of giving it. And in a Nook form factor where there is power, that could leverage that as well. So in a Nook-like device, it helps to fit into those form factors and still give you that best possible performance. But over time, this means these Nooks are going to consume much less power. So your total cost of ownership, and th this makes these Nook devices a lot more greener uh, in comparison to something which is not using a hybrid architecture or running at a much higher power. So we have uh, more than 13 years experience here at ASUS with the team, uh, developing around small form factor compute across both uh, mobile and uh, desktop silicon. Um, so when uh, Intel releases a platform like Panther Lake, we're able to really flex a lot of those design muscles um, and uh, really go after it on cooling, on performance tuning, and really pull out the best experience we can for, uh, for our customers and to satisfy their markets. We do a whole, whole host of things um, one being first is to select the right form factor, right cooling solutions um, to be able to give the best possible performance out of that device. So our partners decide what the right form factor is and we work very closely with them to design that cooling solution to be cool, quiet, but yet deliver the best possible performance you can eke out from the silicon. There is multitudes of other levels of tuning we do to get the best possible uh, performance out of the Nook device, um, APO tuning and also acoustic tuning so that th there will be the best performance in the device, but also all the other vectors like the uh, coolness, the, the quietness, everything is optimized to the, uh, to the best possible capability of the device. At ASUS and Nux specifically, we're very focused on quality and reliability. So we go through a variety of tests um, to, to really give our customers the best experience possible. So anything from mil spec to IP testing to demonstrated mean time between failure, um, all of these things we take very seriously. And we really try to bake, again, that best uh, experience into our product line uh, for our customers. With a lot of our customers, downtime is something that's very it's very frowned on um, and the cost of having to roll a truck is very expensive. Um, so, you know, from the manufacturer standpoint, you want to make sure that we can do everything we can to enable our customers to have the most consistent experience, um, not just on day one, but into day, uh, you know, 1000. Um, one of the things, again, we try to, to give customers that confidence in our product that it's not going to, or that it's going to perform the same uh, late into its lifespan as it did, uh, did early. I'm extremely excited about Panther Lake because with Panther Lake, we had a challenge. We had a high-performing multi-threader performance with Arrow Lake, the most efficient CPU with Luna Lake, and we wanted to bring both of them together, but we also wanted to make sure it scales and had different choice points with Panther Lake. So as a result, Panther Lake gives you an Arrow Lake-like multi-threader performance, Luna Lake like efficiency, but also our partners can choose um, a different graphics or feature set depending on what they need. With the release of Panther Lake, NUC is really able to leverage 
a diversified architecture from Intel. I mean, it's really a broken out architecture, not only from um, the I.O. standpoint, but also from just a general capability standpoint, trying to really increase uh, efficiency, but not at the cost of performance, um, and really give customers options as far as what they're able to, uh, to design to. And that works great for, for NUC because, I mean, that's essentially our bread and butter is constantly trying to give the customer the most personified experience that they're looking for, um, so that they're able to sell to their customers as well. So on something like Panther Lake, um, becomes available to us, we're really able to take that and run with it. Um, and whether or not you're doing uh, AI workloads with you know, the full 180 platform tops that's available to you, um, or you're doing something more low power, or you're doing something that's more high performance related if you're gonna be leveraging more of the, the P cores and the, and the uh, XE3 architecture going forward, really there's something that's great for everything. The Panther Lake 12 XE configuration, which is the highest um, uh, configuration of all, can deliver up to 180 peak tops and also can uh, enable users to do 1080p uh, high settings at more than 60 frames per second in terms of gaming. All of that in this tiny small form factor is going to allow users to do exciting stuff with the Nook devices. So I'm incredibly excited that Panther Lake powered Nooks and especially with the um, Asus Pro lineup is going to be able to do uh, great and wonderful things. So whether it's content creation where you can automatically sort your uh, videos um, as you load them up and individually do doesn't, don't need to go tag them or whether it's um, AI agents which can run and amplify your productivity, um, you will have all of those capabilities packed in a very tiny form factor, which is going to unlock some uh, cre uh, uh, interesting creative capabilities uh, for the users of NOC. As we talk about the power efficiency which Panther Lake brings and the performance, uh, in a NOC form factor, this is going to help uh, places where, where there is infrastructure space constraint. Um, and also Panther Lake scales um, different price points and different feature set. So this also would mean that where there is uh, affordability, um, uh, Panther Lake Nooks can also play a, a great part. An example could be higher education places where they need uh, this performance. They will value the lower power consumption, but also the AI feature set Panther Lake has is going to be very helpful. For example, integrated development uh, coding environments where, um, which could be accelerated by Panther Lake's AI performance, or creation where you need to have projects where you'll do video editing, Panther Lake is going to be super, super helpful in both AI and with the graphics performance. Last but not least, if there is multitudes of AI agents which you need to run locally, which uh, can help with all, all the university research, uh, that is also going to be something uh, useful Panther Lake can offer. Panther Lake can be scaled into uh, a lot of edge use cases, such as digital signage, where the graphics and media engine, Brew Media Engine and Panther Lake is going to be super helpful. Now, on top of that, there is this growing market where there is a lot of AI development boxes or AI boxes, as you would call it, which requires a significant amount of peak tops packed in the smallest possible form factors, which Panther Lake Nooks would be perfect for. And there is going to be a lot more utilization of uh, Panther Lake's media graphics and AI engines, uh, which uh, paired with that small form factor is going to enable more varied use cases, which uh, we are excited about. Obviously, we're in a very changing or very shifting market um, at the moment between, you know, edge compute, high performance compute, um, AI, uh, every the world, you know, the world is changing as far as compute. So um, one of the things Panther Lake really gives us and gives the market um, is an ability to play in each of those markets in a very customized and personalized way. Um, they're able to maintain uh, that efficiency kind of across each of those use cases, uh, but also still maximize performance for each one as well. As I mentioned, Panther Lake packs in Arrow Lake like multi multi-tier performance with Luna Lake like efficiency. If you can take that and put it into this small Nook form factor, as mentioned before, mobile pros are going to be perfect. That is going to allow this to fit, give that 
CPU performance, AI performance, graphics performance for space constrained uh, sectors to be able to effectively use it. And who wouldn't want a nook like this to sit quietly powering everything you need to power and not knowing that even exists.